You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Thursday, May 23rd, 2019. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we are doing a tribute to all you new first communicants by talking about some incredible Eucharistic miracles. We've already talked about how believing that Jesus is truly present in the Eucharist is a little bit hard because we don't have proof. It still looks and feels and tastes like bread and wine. But that very often Jesus has loved us enough to give us a little bit of proof through Eucharistic miracles. Um, On the first miracle, Jesus made it so that a host bled and actually had tissue. And this tissue was tested and found to be from the heart and the blood remains new even 1300 years later. Next, we looked at another miraculous time when a host bled, and also a time from the 1700s when hosts were made dirty, and yet 300 years later, they're still preserved. They haven't disintegrated at all. Today, we are going to look at a whole bunch of examples of times when there have been Eucharistic miracles in the last 20 years. If you think that these miracles only happened a long time ago, then you're wrong. They are still happening today. In fact, they might be happening right now. The Eucharist is real and these things still happen. So the first miracle we're going to talk about happened in India in 2001. And here's what happened. A priest was saying mass once again. He held up the host and he was shocked to see that there was red on the host. He didn't really know what it was. And in fact, he was a little bit frightened. So he put the host in the tabernacle for a few days. A few days later, when he returned, he removed the host and he saw the image of a face on it. It seems that the red material of blood had formed into the outline of a face. Now, I know that might sound a little bit crazy, but if you or your parent or your teacher would like to go online and Google research the um, Eucharistic miracle in India in 2001, you can see an image of it. And this is something, once again, that is on display. If you travel to this parish, you can see the host. You can see the image of the man's face, which many people believe is the image of Jesus's face. So that's just one example. Now, also, many things have happened around the world. In the 1990s, there was a parish that had many times, many episodes of hosts bleeding. And this happened in Argentina in the 1990s. These things were researched. They had scientists test the blood. Once again, the blood seemed to be coming from the heart. It was blood from the heart and new blood. And you know who was the bishop that commissioned this research to check into these miracles? Well, he went on to be our very own Pope Francis. Now, miracles have also occurred in Mexico. In 2006, they had an episode where a host bled. And once again, it was tested. It was not the blood of the priests. It was some other blood, the blood of Jesus, and this blood, this host is once again on display for you to see in that parish. This also happened in Venezuela in 1991, and it also happened in Poland in 2008. Now, these are just the things that I could quickly find evidence of. I'm sure they have happened around the world in many other places. I simply share these things with you to to demonstrate to you that Eucharistic miracles are still happening, that Jesus is truly present in the Eucharist. So take time to marvel at that today. And once again, Sprouts, I challenge you to investigate your own devotion and belief in the Eucharist. If you struggle at all, please talk to an adult and take this to prayer. Once again, join me in the prayer. Jesus, I believe, increase my faith. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. 
We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God intended you to be. One final word to the grown-ups. Thank you so much for listening to the Catholic Sprouts podcast. I would like to invite you to join a special Facebook group just for those that listen to the Catholic Sprouts podcast. We will use this group to connect, to share resources around that week's theme, and simply celebrate raising future saints. To find the direct link to the Facebook group, simply check the notes for this podcast episode.